Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 17th of July 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness to remember why you are here, step out of that spiritual closet and take the paths that lead you to your purpose in this lifetime so that you can spread your wings and soar and take charge of your destiny. Now this week we're going to be using the Magical Unicorn Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. But as always before we start this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so much. And with that in mind, if you missed um, out last weekend where I was at the uh, Wellbeing uh, Festival down in Zetling, and you thought, oh, but I really like to have had a go, you know, had a go at Angelic Reiki, you know, a taster session for it. Then on the 13th of July, I will be at Little Horse Shard in Horton Kirby. So look out for the link in the comments um, to that and you can pre-book a space with me if you want to make sure you get uh, um, one on the day. And of course, my membership, Angel Wings, is opening again July, August time. So I'm really looking forward to welcoming new members. So if you want to get on the wait list, again, check out the link in the comments. And of course, I'm going to be running Angelic Crakey um, again as of uh, the as of September, the whole sequence again. So if you're interested in becoming an Angelic Crakey, not even a practitioner, but just doing it for your own benefit, just doing one and two, then you're more than welcome. So that's enough of me waffling on. Let's uh, get on with the cards. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 17th of June, 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 17th of June, 2024? Okay, well, we've got one card that's decided it was coming out. Let's see what the other cards are doing. And I apologise sound-wise, but I still haven't managed to get myself a new lapel mic. So we have got, talk about your feelings, tell a friend how you feel. Decide, it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. And love heals fear. The power of your love can help To put my glasses on for this one, can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. Okay, so what the cards are saying for you this week is that if you've been having issues with a friend, um, maybe the friendship isn't as it used to be, maybe you've changed, maybe you feel they've changed, then this is the week to actually talk about it with your friend. You know, good friends can talk about anything um, you know, they can share anything and even little minor disagreements will always, can always be resolved. If you are true friends, then, um, you know, you never put pressure on, on each other and you always support each other and listen to each other. So talk to your friends this week. You know, if there's something that's burdening you and you want to release it, talk to friends. You know, friends are so important to have around you. And we have so many different kinds of friends, whether that's really close friends since childhood, close friends in adulthood, um, friends that are family, um, acquaintances, friends that uh, work, you know, you work with, friends you socialize with in certain groups. And each one or each group of friends will have different aspects. So which of those friends do you feel you need to talk to that if you've got something to share um, out? But it's also if you want to make a decision, you know, where you are supposed to be going, you want some clarity. Talking to friends can really help. Um, you know, you can get their um, uh, introspective on it. But also remember that they will always want what's for your best, your highest good. Um, or they should do. So they may be a little bit biased with their opinions, but it's worth taking note of them. And sometimes just talking it over with them allows you to um, get it straight in your mind. Um, so this week, really get clear on what you want to do, where you want to go. Um, you know, we've got the we've got the solstice. 
perfect time, you know, go into meditation, um, you know, where is it I want to be? What do I want to do? What clarity do I want to get? You know, there are many guided meditations out there and I've just recently done a, a solstice celebration with a guided meditation that you can find um, uh, here on, uh, well, on face on my Facebook page and my, in my group, Radiant Angel Energy. But use the solstice, use the full moon that we've also got coming up this week to actually get clear on where you're going and what you want to do. If you can't talk to a friend, write it down. And also, if there's bullying about that you know about, you've heard about, maybe you're being bullied, um, maybe you've been a bit bullying, you know, and maybe that's stuff from the past that's, that's coming up. This is a week to address it. And the best way to address it is with love. You know, a bu nine times out of ten, uh, there's issues with with what with a bully as to why they become a bully, and karma unfortunately does always come back um, to those. Uh, or that's in in my experience that, that's happened. But if you can stay in that thing of love, which is really hard when bullies are about, um, but if you can have that energy of love going out in that situation then that will help the atmosphere um, and it, you know, and it may calm the bullying down. And again, you know, if you've got to speak to the school um, because your child's being bullied, again, go in with compassion, understand there might be some issues with that child um, that's doing the bullying. Um, and again, you know, talk to a friend, take a friend with you, but get clear on what you want to happen. Um, yeah, so that's really all the cards are saying to me this week. This really is a week of being who you are supposed to be, you know, sharing, talking, um, getting guidance, listening, so that you can make your own decisions. You can get clear in your mind about what you're doing, where you're going, what you want to happen, and just stay in the energy of love. It is so important that we stay in that higher vibration and we see the bigger picture of all things. Anyway, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you do get a different reading or one card stands out more than the other, then just go with that. But of course, do let me know in the comments or mention me privately as I always reply to everyone who uh, who comments or connects with me. So the cards again are talk about your feelings, tell a friend how you feel. A true friend will understand. Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. What do you want? Where do you want to go? Use this week the full moon and solstice to get clarity on that. And love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. And that's quite often, you know, bullying um, or people that put you in fear, often afraid of losing control. You know, they're often fearful. So if you show them the unconditional love, even if you don't feel it and you don't think it's working, it will um, affect them on a on a different level. And if you're going into an argument, or someone's arguing, take a deep breath, breathe, and just go into that space of your heart. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, and don't forget to check out um, all the things that I have to offer. Enjoy the summer solstice uh, this weekend, or this week, I should say, um, which is the uh, 20th, 21st, so don't forget Midsummer's Eve, absolutely a brilliant time. In fact, on the guide meditation I did for the summer solstice, um, we actually did have some fun um, on Midsummer's Eve, so do check out that meditation. Um, and don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, is taking place on Monday the 17th. If you're watching this on Monday the 17th, it's taking place at 8pm UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, then watch the replay as I've got the lovely um, Jan Gilberson as my guest. So I look forward to that conversation, look forward to speaking to you all soon. Take care. Bye.